Yo, what is up everyone? Today we are here with MLP Season 7, Episode 16, Campfire Tales. Campfire Tales? Okay, well, I think I know what this one's gonna be about. <laughs> I, 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 I cannot... Okay, it obviously... Okay, I'm assuming it's just gonna be like... I, at least I, I'm hoping that it's just gonna be like a bunch of the... The characters going out camping and then obviously telling campfire stories like <laughs> that would be so cool um i hope it's not just the main six i hope it's like more people <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say that would be like amazing yeah. but that, 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 that's my prediction because i want it to happen <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh yeah i guess we'll just go right in Oh boy. <laughs> or maybe it'll only be Applejack's family. <laughs> no, no, it, it's not. <laughs> Tents are looking good, and we made good time today. All the obvious rarity tent. We should annual sister little sister camping trip every weekend. Then it wouldn't be. Oh dang. And if we did it every weekend, it probably wouldn't be as special. But the more we do it, the better we get at camping. Remember the first time we came here and Rarity had that ginormous tent? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I've gotten much better at roughing it, haven't I? <laughs> yep, this time you only pack three suitcases. <laughs> I know Dang. what you're thinking, but I promise I only brought the essentials. Like those uh -huh. thingies? Of course. What do you That's like? very important. That make it easy. <laughs> Berries look good enough to eat. Don't! According to my book, they're extremely poisonous. <laughs> Bruh. I learned something. I stepped on something, and I saw that creepy cave. I guess I still get a little bit scared out here, even after the last camping trip. Don't worry, kid. You've got a big sister this time. This looks amazing. This is gonna be the best big sister slash little sister camping trip ever. Ow. Those carrot dogs, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead. Judy <laughs> <laughs> Mark Crusaders died, and then three of the elements of harmony. How will Equestria ever recover from this? <laughs> this big loss. <laughs> we gotta replace them. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> Not a scary game. Where did those terrible bugs come from? And why did they destroy our camp? Flyers are from the Luna Bay area. Never seen them this far east though. Probably attracted to the food. Best wait here until they're gone. Oh, apple rot. What are we supposed to do now? <laughs> we had games to play and marshmallows to roast at camp, and here we got nothing. Mm, that's not entirely true. We have each other. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And if you girls want to, maybe we could tell some stories to pass the time. You want Epic. stories? I've got a ton of stories. Spoiler alert, they're all about me and how awesome I am. <laughs> I was thinking more like campfire stories. But we don't even have a campfire. About Rainbow Dash and how awesome she is. <laughs> wow, that was brave. Uh, <laughs> it was no biggie. 
<laughs> we aren't going to tell scary stories like our last camping trip, are we? It's bad enough just being in here. Don't worry, Scootaloo. I was going to tell you mine and Apple Bloom's favorite legend. Oh, you mean Rock Hook? I love that one. He was so strong and when he... Apple Bloom? Shh, we haven't heard it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's so good. <laughs> well, it's true. Rock Hook was known far and wide for his incredible Let's go. strength. <laughs> but he didn't start out that way. You see, Rock Hook was a tiny little fella, the son of a farmer. Just like us. <laughs> they lived in a village that sat at the foot of a gigantic volcano. Oh. And the village was protected by an elite group of guard ponies called the Mighty Hell. <laughs> Young Rock Hoof wanted nothing more than to be part of the Mighty Helm. <laughs> but he was Dang. told that he was too scrawny and weak to protect the village. He's built like me. <laughs> but Rock Hoof wouldn't take no for an answer. Then, one fateful day, the volcano erupted! <laughs> this is my favorite <laughs> What happened next? The molten oh, lava poured down the side of the volcano. The bite sealed quickly. <laughs> and try as they might, the mighty helm couldn't figure out a way to save the village. They had to evacuate. But the village ponies didn't want to leave their homes. They spent their entire lives there. They had nowhere else to go. So Rock Hoof decided to do something crazy. He thought if he could divert the flow of the lava, he might be able to save his village. He started digging a trench. Wait a minute. All by himself? It'd be impossible for one pony to dig a trench fast enough to stop the lava. I mean, even I couldn't do that. <laughs> Good thing Rock <Robert laughs> didn't believe in the word impossible. He continued to work, knowing the odds were against him, but determined to push through. Then, something magical happened. <laughs> Rock got visibly stronger, but the lava was getting closer. And sheer force of will, Rock Hoof more than earned his place in the mighty hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Apple Jack. Yeah. Good story, Applejack. Even if it wasn't about me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story, no matter how many times I hear it. Why don't we see if it's safe to head back to camp? Uh, girls? There is no camp to go back to. Bruh. <laughs> You know, mosquitoes that shoot webs is like the most terrifying thing in the entire world. <laughs> there, there, sweetie Belle. Not to worry. How? Our camp was so pretty and this cave is so... not. Oh, no, 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 no. Not true. There's beauty in everything. Even these blah rocks aren't really blah. If you look closely, you can see flakes of gold in them. And the way the firelight dances on the cave wall... Shadow and light, oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> Sweetie Belle, have I ever told you even about do my favorite legend? Shadow I ponies with hoofs. Know you have <laughs> Her name was Mistmane. Mistmane? Isn't she the old wrinkly sorceress with the flower? Yes, but did you know she used to be the most beautiful unicorn in all the land? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Mistmain was a very promising young sorceress. She was as talented as she was beautiful and kind. Every pony loved her and missed her when she was sent to the finest magic school. While she was gone, she was delighted to find out that her best friend, Sable Spirit, was crowned empress. She couldn't wait to return home once she finished her studies. But once she arrived, she was devastated by what she saw. Oh no. <laughs> Man, she really sucked at being an empress, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the empress happened. She makes every pony work day and night on her palace. We don't have time to take care of anything else. Well, that can't be. I know her. She would never do this. But there was no denying what was in front of her. <laughs> Dang. Sable Spirit took everything that was beautiful away from any pony else. And Miss Mane was sure there had to be some explanation. I'd assume there was too. If some pony told me either one of you two had gone evil, yeah, I'd never believe it. I don't know. I've seen the way you two get when you miss breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But I want answers too. So did Miss Maine. She went to confront her friend. Sable, is that you? Don't tell me you don't recognize your old friend. I don't. My friend would never work our families and friends to the bone for something as silly as a palace. <laughs> silly? My palace is a beacon of beauty. Any pony who passes will be in awe of its majesty. What good is a pretty palace if it just hides the misery of its ponies? Beauty is everything. You taught me that. What? You were always the pretty one. You got to go to the best magic school. Every pony missed you. Every pony loved you. I admit I was jealous. So I tried to perform a spell that would make me beautiful. You can see how that went. <gasps> I vowed if I couldn't have beauty, I would take it. I wasn't chosen to be empress, you know. I took it! Just like I'm going to take everything else. I can't let you do that. Let me. <laughs> Didn't she like just go to the best magic school or whatever? Everything, but Miss May knew that it does have the power to make Pony smile. She made a huge sacrifice to bring that smile back to her friends and family's faces, including Sable Spirits. <sighs> you did this for me, even after I was so cruel. Sable Spirit was so touched that she vowed to be more like her friend in the ways that mattered. From then on, she ruled with kindness and compassion. Epic. <laughs> Even though she gave away her physical beauty, she dedicated her life to spreading beauty all over Equestria. Any time you go out of your way to brighten some pony's day by doing something like giving them flowers, you're following in the hoofsteps of Mist Mane. <laughs> I think she's my favorite legend, too. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
Like it felt like it not, pronounced flighters, is that what they're saying? I think so. What are we gonna do? They're almost here! Dang, that was so smart. What? Yes. Now those bugs <laughs> can't get in. And we can't get out! <laughs> It'll be fine, just like give it a few hours, you know. <laughs> Wait for the bug to disappear, then figure out a way out. We just have to wait until the swarm moves on. Then we'll think of a way out. Alright, that's what I just said. <laughs> whoa, 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 Scootaloo, you're focusing on the wrong things. You have a plan? Close. I have a story. <laughs> Let me guess. It's about you? Practically. It's about my favorite legend, Flash Magnus. Okay. Me the pony who took on the dragons? <laughs> dragons? Big scary mean ones are like Spike. Oh, these were definitely the big scary mean kind. <sighs> but not too scary. You can sit closer to me if you want. <laughs> Long time ago. Before the Wonderbolts were even founded, Flash Magnus of course. was a lowly you gotta throw that one in. <laughs> <laughs> and the Legion needed to fly over the Dragonlands to get to their comrades on the other side. But as they got closer to the dragons, the dragons attacked! You said this wasn't too scary! <laughs> Friendship ain't magic yet. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Commander, we need to save our captured comrades. I appreciate your loyalty, Flesh Magnus, but getting past those dragons is going to be impossible. Nothing will work. The commander was right. You can't outfight dragons, but you can outthink them. Commander Ironhead. I'm pretty sure I can outfly the dragons. If I can lure them into chasing me, you can all sneak into the lair and retrieve our friends before they get back. Are you really willing to take that chance, soldier? I am, sir. It's a very brave thing you're doing. You'll need all the help you can get. Is this Natitis? The fireproof shield? It has protected Legion heroes for generations, and today, I can't think of a worthier flank for Natitis to protect. Good luck, soldier. Yes. <laughs> hey! Come and get me, fire breath! If you can! Hey! Hey! Come and get me! Hey, I'm over here! <laughs> <laughs> but he knew he couldn't do this forever. Luckily, he had a plan. A big storm cloud. <laughs> Awesome 
I guess he kind of reminds me of you. You guess? Come on! I'm just like him! <laughs> Practically the same person. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you hear that? Uh, I don't hear anything. Exactly. Those gosh darn flighters are gone. We can get out. Or not. We're gonna have to see. Well, on, Rarity's got magic, right? <laughs> She's useless. She can't even lift short. up some rocks. Me and Flash Magnus, okay? I hear water. And if there's flowing water, then it might lead to the way out. Oh, okay. On three, one, two, three. Ourselves a shortcut to win some balls. Oh, it's never looked so <laughs> beautiful. Well, almost. <gasps> we sure are sorry that our camping trip wasn't what we hoped it would be. Are you kidding? This trip is awesome! It is? We got to hear legendary stories and go on an adventure. Wait, you three want to stay? Of course we do! We could turn those trees into a nice little shelter. We can get you some big logs and branches to help build it. And I bet we can find some more berries. Come on. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Epic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, that was uh, Campfire Tales or whatever it was called. <laughs> Um, I I I know it's not like everyone's favorite, but I always love the episodes like that where they like it's not anything about like the actual characters and it's just like yeah. side stories from like we'll probably never see those characters again. I don't know, obviously, but like I don't know. I think that's cool. It it's like I don't know. It, it it's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> but that one was kind of, in my opinion, like. A Sleepless in Ponyville 2.0. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the title. Um, but yeah, and I will say that those uh, stories are actually pretty important to the show, so yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I, I think it's cool they had, like, obviously the Vikings, obviously the ancient Chinese one, <laughs> and then obviously the freaking Roman... Roman Empire esque one. <laughs> They're even in a legion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the reaction, and uh, yeah, we will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Oh yeah. <laughs>